What's up, everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room. And today, as you can see on my review table, I received three more packages in the mail. And inside of these packages are awesome stuff like some vintage Jurassic Park toys. We've got some MonsterVerse toys from Godzilla vs. Kong. And we've got even more in the final package. So we've got a bunch of cool stuff to take a look at today. So let's go ahead and crack open these boxes and check out what's inside. Okay, so inside of package number one, we've got some awesome stuff packed nice and safely. Alrighty, let's get it out of the bubble wrap. But we've got a Jurassic Park Series 2 Alan Grant with double barrel bola launcher, which is really, really cool. This is actually the last mint inbox Series 2 Jurassic Park figure that I needed. So I'm super happy to get this one into my collection. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition too. We've got our little Alan Grant. I believe that's a Lysenops um, hatchling and his bola launcher, as you see here. Um, but yeah, here we go. Lysenops hatchling, which is really, really cool. Of course, on the back, we get a look at all the other cool toys like the Demon Carnotaurus, the Series 2 Young Rex, the Quetzalcoatlus, all kinds of awesome stuff. Even some unreleased figures like the Scrap Davis and these two figures here, which are actually these three, which is really, really cool to see. So I'm super happy to get this first piece into my collection and to finally complete all of the Jurassic Park Series 2 figures new in the package. But now that we've taken a look at this awesome figure that was inside of box number one, let's see what's inside of box slash package number two. So now inside of package number two, we've got even more awesome stuff. Let's see what we got. And we've got our Godzilla versus Kong figure, but this is the Haya Toys Heat Ray Godzilla translucent version, um, exquisite basic figure, which is super, super cool. For those of y'all that keep up with my channel, you know that I'm just now getting into collecting the Haya MonsterVerse figures. So this is now the second one that I've added to my collection to go along with the Skullcrawler. And I have about seven more of them on pre-order, so they will be showing up to my channel uh, very soon. But here is the next one we got. And this thing is looking awesome. I mean, look at that graphic art of Godzilla on the front with the translucent spines that is so so cool I mean the box looks awesome all over as y'all can see and then looking at the back of the box nothing too crazy just some disclaimers where this thing came from and another look at Godzilla and the burning city in the background but actually the sides of the boxes look pretty cool too as you can see Godzilla there but this is a sweet piece. I'm super excited to keep adding more of these exquisite basic Haya toys from the MonsterVerse to my collection since I do have a lot more of them on pre-order to go along with this one from Godzilla vs. Kong. But now that we've taken a look at this amazing figure, let's check out what's inside of the third and final package. So inside of the final package is actually not Jurassic and it's not Monster Burst, but we've got some Spider-Man as y'all can see. And this is the Marvel Legends Carnage from Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And honestly, this thing is sick. I mean, look at this figure, guys. I know not all of you are Spider-Man fans, but again, I am a big Spidey fan and this is one of the coolest characters from the Spider-Man universe. I know this is from the Sony universe, but technically it still connects with Spider-Man in my brain. Look at that awesome look at Carnage on the side. Uh, nothing too crazy here. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a good look at Carnage fighting Venom, which is really, really cool. I mean, just check out that cool scene from the movie. But looking at the figure again, this is one of the cooler Marvel Legends figures that I've seen in a while. I mean, look at all the detail on him. Look at all the accessories it comes with. Even comes with that swappable head with the really long tongue like all the symbiotes have. So that is really, really cool to me. And again, I don't add a lot of Spider-Man stuff to my collection. Collection, but when there's a figure that is this cool, I just can't help but pick it up. 
So here is everything that I received on today's Jurassic Mail Call unboxing. I'm super excited to add all of these new awesome toys and collectibles to my ever-growing collection. Want to see more awesome Jurassic content? Then hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any of my content. Also, check me out on Instagram and join my Discord server for so much more Jurassic fun. The links to everything will be in the description below. Check out more awesome Jurassic videos here.